Hello everybody, I hope you are well. This is Tim from G.I. Joe Immortal and we're going to take a look at the Power Team Elite IFV or Infantry Fighting Vehicle and it is an amphibious vehicle and it is an APC, an armored personnel carrier with a lot of little features to it that we're going to get into and the reason I'm showing this vehicle is because it is a non GI Joe vehicle but it works great with your GI Joe collection your modern and your vintage figures so we'll be right back with the Power Team Elite IFV Okay, this vehicle we're going to start in the front. As you can see, we do have a retractable panel armor plating to protect your two drivers in the front. And there's the underside of it. Let me lift it up here so you can see a little bit underneath. Which there's not a whole lot of detail underneath there. It does roll really well. It's got six black plastic tires on it as you can see uh, it's got some uh, detail in the front with like I said the two uh, glass windows plastic has the headlights has two plastic mirrors that are durable and they're not hard plastic so they're not going to break has two hatches in the front for your drivers and there's the top detail there and you also have a tow cable on the side for recovering vehicles and you have four more compartments in the back to hold figures now on top you have the uh, smoke um, smoke grenade launchers there to provide cover for this vehicle when you're working in an urban area or in battle and it looks to me like that's a 20, 20 millimeter gun with also some kind of a machine gun on the side too now I've checked this vehicle out and on my research looking it up in the uh, checking it out on the internet and looking in the armored visual encyclopedia we'll take a look at here this is this is kind of it's kind of designed after three vehicles that I see it isn't really a real life vehicle I have not found one in this exact spec but uh, it looks like it's kind of like the body of this Sisu XA 180 armored personnel carrier and it also resembles a Rattel which is a South African design and or the Fuchs TPZ-1 but it looks like a combination of all three of those now the reason I say that is because the South African model did have this exhaust port on top for when they're in in the water because if you have exhaust ports underneath and you go in the water it's going to bog down and you're going to stall but I didn't see any with this type of 20 millimeter cannon on the top and also with not the uh, opening hatches the way they did now there is one where you can have three drivers and can carry 10 personnel um, 10 other infantry soldiers inside now let's take a look at the other side and you can see here this has an opening hatch here I believe this is for loading the gun here um, maybe for the chain gun on the side I'm not sure um, it's a little bit dusty up here I haven't been able to get in here with a fine brush to get some of this dust out of there but this does shut and it does have a latch to hold it closed uh, this is the smoke grenades here and you can see some more detail on the top now it does fit the figures pretty well we'll put Duke up front in the driver's seat they don't go all the way in 
to the hatch but you can get uh, you can get six figures in here pretty comfortable and you can even use your more modern figures too you can use them also I know you're gonna grumble it's not Tiger Force but uh, you're going in there too but you can fit six, six figures in here pretty comfortable figure there you go and there you have it there is six figures right there now let's look at some more the detail is almost kind of identical on this side you have a tow cable on this side and some more uh, sculpting here looks like that's a saw or something up there um, like I said this is retractable you can have it down or up if they were inside this uh, adds a uh, some more protection if they're taking fire from the front of the vehicle. We'll take a look at the back. The back does have a hatch, but it does not open. It has two propellers, and they do spin. You can spin, although it's pretty hard for me to get my big fingers in there. But that is a back hatch. Um, they do have an axe and a shovel. I don't have the shovel there. And as you can see, one of my pegs has broken off. And those are pretty brittle. They're pretty brittle and they will break on you. You've got to be really careful. I do have the shovel, but I decided not to put it up there. Um, the axe just stays put in there, but it's already got one of the pegs broke off there too. So those are really easy to break off. And that's just from storage. This has not really seen the light of day a whole lot. I've just brought it out to show it to you guys now. But uh, it is, other than that, it's a pretty sturdy vehicle. The turret does rotate all the way around. The gun does uh, elevate to about like that. So it's not really an anti-aircraft gun. Just has two kind of positions for it. But it, uh, it does move around. And like I said, this hatch opens up for, if you want to... Uh, for loading I believe and uh, loading your uh, ordnance in there um, the hatches do close but the figures won't fit down inside now we're gonna find out does it float and if we'll take a look at the bottom here let me uh, get these figures out of here first Oops, they're not gonna stand up too well I'm going to take a look at the bottom and see and as you can see here um, it may float really well it does have a little tow uh, tow hook on the back there too um, now you can see the detail of the propeller so it is an amphibious vehicle we are going to put this in some water and see if it floats now I'm worried about these two uh, screw holes right here taking in water if they're not sealed very good and if there's any other holes in here that I can't see underneath these wheels, which there could be, it could be just where these axles are going right there that could fill up with water. We're going to find out. Tiger Force. Okay, here we are. We're at the sink right now. We're going to see if this thing floats. Let's see if it fits first. Hold on, I need two hands. Okay, so far so good. It is starting to lean towards one side. I think it may be filling up with water. Yeah, it's floating. It's floating pretty good actually. I imagine over time though it may fill up with water. Let's see. Yeah, it appears it can float. Okay, let's pull it out, see if it's got any water in it. Oh yeah, nah, she's gonna sink. <laughs> It'll float for a minute, but it filled up with quite a bit of water, as you can see. So, as far as amphibious goes, 
I don't think so, guys. Okay. So there's your Power Team Elite IFV. And we'll see you again soon. This is Tim from G.I. Joe Immortal. We'll see you next time.